Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. So yesterday I was out of the house all day. It was just an insane day. We were on the road doing stuff and I just did not get a chance to vlog, so I've missed you. So today is Saturday and we, as far as I know, are home all day today. So I will be bringing you along for a day of Simply Filling Foods. I am going to do the best I can to do a complete day of Simply Filling, so we shall see. I am getting ready to make breakfast. It is actually pretty late. It's almost 9 o'clock, which is pretty late for me to have breakfast, but I've been puttering around the house and my husband just left, so time for breakfast. I'll be back in a few minutes to show you what I'm having. Hi guys, so I've already started eating. When I got done making my breakfast, my phone was updating, doing a software update. So I've already started eating, but my phone just turned back on, so I figured I would at least tell you what I'm having. So I'm eating a banana that I split with Willow, because I can't ever have anything just for myself. <laughs> and then I just had maybe a half a cup of the Simply Potatoes that I just cook in a pan with pan spray, salt, pepper, and garlic. I try to, like, use them. They're frozen. Now, let me preface that. The Orida hash brown potatoes are not Simply Filling. I think there's extra oil in there or something. But I buy the Simply Potatoes that are in the refrigerated section. And then I bring them home. And I put them in a bag and I put them in the freezer. Just because I only eat them maybe once a week. And I'm always afraid they'll turn brown. So I put them right in the frying pan frozen. And as they thaw, I kind of squish them down with my spatula. And I let them cook until I can flip the whole patty over. And then today I ended up having two eggs. I'm really hungry. Although now that I'm eating, I'm getting full. But I cooked two eggs in the same pan after I took the hash browns out. And... I don't know truthfully if I will eat all of this or not, but that's what I cooked. This is my second cup of water. I have um, the Crush Orange in here today. Yesterday I drank bottled water all day because I was gone, so I drank plain water. Um, so today I am drinking flavored water and I'm working on my first cup of coffee I didn't start drinking coffee until pretty late so coffee is normal one tablespoon of the Italian sweet cream sugar free from coffee mate and a little cashew milk and some of the salted caramel skinny syrup so I have a couple of reviews to do with you today which I will do later I have some of these and I finally got my ice cream yesterday so I will let you guys know I'll see you later hi friends <clears throat> sorry about that it's about two o'clock and I'm finally gonna eat some lunch I have been like moving furniture and changing rugs and I'm just it's really really nice outside it's been really really unseasonably warm here it's like almost 50 degrees today so I have my front door open it's so nice so I'm just eating some cold leftovers. This looks like a big bowl of food, but I have about three ounces of grilled chicken here. It was just marinated in uh, fat-free Italian dressing and then grilled the other night. And then I just have some roasted broccoli and cauliflower that I had, excuse me, last night for supper. And then over here, I have some vegetables or zucchini, a couple Brussels sprouts, um, and some peppers that were soaked in the same fat-free uh, Italian dressing and grilled off a couple nights ago. I'm gonna eat them all cold. This is my fourth. I was really thirsty. I think this is my fourth water um, and I still have a little tiny bit of coffee left that I'm kind of sipping on. So I'm gonna eat and I will see you guys in a bit. Hey guys. So, I wanted to come on and do just a quick little, um, just a quick little blurb about Enlightened. Um, I have three of the beans here that I've eaten that I wanted to, um, 
review really fast. First one was the mesquite barbecue. I did not like this flavor. Um, the beans themselves are really good and I um, roast chickpeas and stuff for snacks so I like the idea and I've never thought to use like a broad bean or a bigger bean. The mesquite barbecue flavor was really intense fake smoke taste like I just I didn't care for it and I'm a barbecue lover I love the taste of barbecue but these were definitely not my favorite the garlic and onion ones however I thought were delicious I would eat a whole bag of these so I'm glad they're just little um, packs so this one was really good I felt like it had a lot of flavor without being overpowering and then the sea salt and these were great they were just plain um, this is a perfect serving size they all have seven grams of protein which is awesome um, and then each package gives you little ideas of what you could do with them like this one it says snack time sprinkle in soup toss on a salad um, the sea salt ones would probably be the ones I would buy if I could find them in the store just because they're just that crunchy salty bite that you really want so that is those are the broad beans that I've tried so far I think I ate the cinnamon ones the first day I had them and I already reviewed those I probably will not try the wasabi ones I don't care for the taste of wasabi um, so I think I have the cocoa dusted ones left and the sriracha ones so stay tuned um, and then last night I had a little bit of this one which is the caramel oatmeal cookie crunch I have not been able to find the oatmeal I just had like literally three bites I just wanted to see what it tasted like um, I have not tried the oatmeal one from Halo Top, so I don't have a lot to compare to, but I didn't care for this one. It had a really strange aftertaste, um, and it almost immediately made my stomach upset, which I was talking with Jess from Weight Watchers Journey to Healthy, and we were talking about what exactly is in here, and this one has erythritol, and so does the Halo Top. But if you've ever looked at Halo Top ice cream, the first ingredients is milk, eggs, um, milk and cream and eggs. And then this one, the first ingredients are skim milk, milk protein isolate, and then erythritol. So I feel like this one has more whole foods in it um, so I didn't this one wasn't my favorite and I hope my husband likes it because I probably won't eat any more of this one this one however the cookie dough I didn't care for the cookie dough from Halo Top and this is what this looks like this morning because apparently my husband liked this one so I want to taste this one to see before it's gone <laughs> so I'm just gonna have a bite of it um, just from looking at it, the chocolate and the cookie dough is much bigger than it is in the Halo Top. You can see that big hunk of cookie dough in there. And the chocolate is bigger. This one is much better than the Halo Top, in my opinion. Um, I really like this one. I'm sure there is about two points worth. This is all that's there. This is this one spoonful. I'm gonna eat it. Um, I did. I'm not sure how everybody else's did. I only got seven flavors. I was kind of bummed that they did not send me the pistachio because that was kind of the one I was looking forward to the most. Um, because I have not been able to find the Halo Top pistachio either. And my absolute favorite ice cream of all time is the pistachio Ben and Jerry's so I might have to just see if I can find some of the pistachio but this cookie dough one is really good I was a little disheartened last night after eating a little bit of this one I was afraid um, 
I wouldn't like any of them, but this one is really good. I'll let you know how it does to my stomach. But that's kind of my review right now. Um, so I'm going to eat this little bit of ice cream for two points, and I will see you guys back here later. Bye! Bye! Okay, guys, so it is time for me to have supper. I've been cooking... Well, it came out more like a soup, which is kind of obvious because I cooked it in the crock pot, but it's supposed to just be a chicken curry, but it's, of course, more liquidy because it cooked in the crock pot all day. So I started with three little pieces of chicken, probably maybe eight to ten ounces of chicken. Um, I just threw it in the bottom. There is a can of chickpeas in there. There is red pepper, yellow pepper, um, maybe two, a cup and a half of butternut squash. There is, I wanted to add some more vegetables, but we were gone this afternoon. We went for like a three mile walk because it was almost 60 degrees here. And I just didn't get them in in time for them to be cooked. Um, there's a can of diced tomatoes some vegetable stock and then there's one can of light coconut milk in there um light coconut milk i just had a complete brain fart um i didn't put any rice or anything in this tonight this is just a in here I was trying to think I swear I put something else in it that oh the curry powder I mean the curry paste it has curry paste in it I probably put two tablespoons in the whole crock pot and I bet you there is at least eight servings in there so the coconut milk is about two points and I'm going to give myself one point for the curry paste even though that's probably overestimating it's fine I have plenty of points and all I have left is tomorrow so three points I didn't put any um, I'll put a screenshot of this in I put some cilantro on top there's lemon juice and lime juice in there um, and this isn't a very big portion but I'm not overly hungry right now I have been drinking water like a crazy person today so I'm not overly hungry but I am going to eat this um, for three points which is just fine for me and I will insert a picture of it and I will see you guys after dinner okay bye so it is about 8 15 and I finally got my kids to bed so I am going to go curl up and watch a grown-up movie and I have a whole bag here of the, um, this is the only brand that I, excuse me, that I can find. <clears throat> it is the Snack Artist, 94% fat free. And any of the 94% fat free popcorn is simply filling. So I can't promise you that I won't eat all of this. <laughs> if I do that's just fine so I am going to close out for tonight and I will see you guys tomorrow bye guys